X is not a value for this project, then we shouldn't do it, right? From the flip side, by the way, I don't hate you for having said that because we don't have <laughs> one year long retainers. So I've already learned that lesson. <laughs> but um, from the agency perspective, where I see breakdowns is when there's when we don't account for enough communication and collaboration time. Mm -hmm. So if you come in with a very small budget, we're going to do the work, but we don't, we're not going to have the time to fully collaborate and communicate appropriately. And then the client is going to start feeling like, like they're, they're not getting the appropriate, appropriate amount of time and attention from us. And so we don't want a situation like that. Uh, we want to have ample time. And just like when you hire an employee, I want to feel like we're going to thrive. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to think that it's going to be easy because it's never easy. It mm -hmm. takes a lot of work. Digital marketing takes a lot of work, a lot of dedication, a lot of thinking time. Um, but I want this, I want when we start talking about the collaboration, the relationship we're going to have as client and agency, I want to get this feeling like, oh my, I can't, I, I can help them. I'm so excited to help yes. them. And we're both going to thrive. Yeah. If I don't have ample time to communicate with you, we're not going to thrive. Just yeah. like you, you gave the example of a marriage, yeah. you need communication, right? Um, so that's my perspective on what some of the failure points are there. And I can pinpoint it in the interview process as an agency. If we're not collaborating from the beginning of that RFP process, let's say, if I just have to submit something in, in response to the RFP, it's not a collaboration. And then I'm a little skeptical about the, the, the long-term potential of this, of this relationship. So, so far we've focused on the hiring manager side. I do want to change sides of the table briefly because some of the issues that you just brought up, I really want to pin on the agencies. And the first where you said the budget doesn't include enough time for communication and, and collaboration, the agencies need to budget that in what they're offering. And if you start splitting that out and put account management hours and the creative hours separately and hours in general is a bad idea, but, but to the extent that you're separating those things out, you're asking your prospects or your clients to take aim at those account management hours and try to squeeze them down. Don't do that. You know you need that. And so put it all together. This project is going to cost X. If, 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 there's not a val if X is not a value for this project, then we shouldn't do it, right? We shouldn't, we shouldn't try to skinny things down to sneak into a budget because now we're setting ourselves both sides up to not be successful. Yeah. Um, you taught me a very, a very smart way as part of conversation. I feel like a lot of what I've learned from you is how to say things to, to have better communication mm -hmm. with, with my prospects so that it's a win-win for everybody. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and so one of the phrases that you've taught me is um, what would happen if, and in that conversation, we can say, what would happen if we don't set aside enough time for right. communication and collaboration? That's right. um, so you know, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, you, you put a price on it and then you say, well, this is what it's going to take. Are you committed to success? Mm -hmm. At the same time, that's the simplified version, right? As yes. part of that conversation, yeah. it is important to raise some questions like, what would happen if we don't do it the right way? That's right. That's right. And another way, another thing that I think falls under that communication thing is when you're pitching, and this is true whether you're uh, interviewing as an employee or as an agency, if you're in the interview process or you're, you're meeting with the prospect and you're starting to get that feeling like, ooh, I think this budget isn't really enough to get this work done. Instead of hiding that inside and then going back and making a tiny little budget that you, that you know isn't going to be successful... It's way better to stop right there and say, you know, in my experience, a project like this is going to take a budget of Y, and you're only talking about a budget of X. Is there flexibility in that budget? Because at a budget of X, I think we should talk about a whole different approach, right? And so to, to, if, if inside you're thinking, I'm seeing a problem, 
it's on you to put that on the table earlier rather than later. Why would you invest more time if you find out that it's a situation you're not going to be successful? Yeah, it's very interesting to me how we're talking about hiring in both instances or even hiring a consultant, yet there's such different approaches to hiring an employee versus hiring an employee. Yes. <laughs>